Well, remember a couple of months ago, I had to capture a blue jay from my backyard. and squirrely. And I brought him to the, the wildlife center to rehab. So that was about almost about two months ago, maybe a week less or so. Anyways, he's being dropped off in a few minutes. They're going to bring him to me and we're going to release him in my backyard. So anyways, he's all better now. He didn't have West Nile. He didn't have any viruses. He had head trauma. So it took him about two months to get better. But anyways, I'm excited. So I want to show you him being released from the box. Yeah. Okay, he's going to go. He's going to go. This Blue Jay's over there. Oh my God. Oh, oh wow. Oh, he did a lick a... Oh, where'd he go? Where? Oh, there he is. He's on the wire. He's looking around. Oh, that's cute. He's got to get his like uh, bearings. Exactly. I wonder if he'll see those ones. So cute he went up there. So it took him a while eh, to get better. Yeah, so he's okay now? He flies okay? Mm -hmm. And everything? He's probably just sitting there thinking. Figuring it all out again. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that one? That, something just went up in that tree. Oh my gosh, it's right That's there. That's a blue jay. Two of them, two of them. That's where they are. His friends are over there in that tree. Yep, two right there. I wonder if they... Oh, there's another one. There's three. There, there you go. Oh, they're eating the berries off that tree. That's, he went? Where'd he go? He's gone. Oh, there he goes. He's going way over there. Oh, he's going into his tree. That's his tree. I'm sure as soon as he makes noise, they'll find each other, right? Well, thank you for saving him and finding us again. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for helping him. Yes. So that was really exciting. Hope you were excited like I was. So what happened is when the wildlife team came here to my house, um, they were going to let him loose in my backyard, but um, we saw a blue jay on my neighbor's front yard. So they thought, hey, what's a better way to let him loose with another blue jay? So that's when they released him from the box. I tried to follow him with my camera, but it's kind of hard to pretty quick to fly. So as he was sitting up on the wire, two other blue jays came down and uh, so there were three all together and that's what I was looking at because I missed when the blue jay kind of flew away so there was three of them and then we were so happy because right away we seen blue jays and so the blue jay that was released landed in this tree I'm not sure how long the blue jay you know st sat there or if he's still there I can't really see through all the leaves um, but I did hear blue jays like uh, making calls in the distance and um yeah so i'm so happy i'm so excited he got released and i was happy you can tell tell with my voice right sorry i get so emotional i like start squealing and stuff um but anyways so he was released and hopefully he'll stick around i won't be able to tell you know which blue jay he is because they kind of all look the same so they come to my yard every day and they they go to my feeders here but my feeders are empty except for the safflower which is for their cardinals and the niger seed which is for the goldfinches and I still have my bird bath there and I got all my cameras set up to catch all the the nice moments oh there's a couple of sparrows they're coming back but the blue jays usually they come in the mornings they come early in the mornings and then in the afternoon so anyways <laughs> so I was so happy so the blue jay did not have West Nile like um, we thought previously it actually had a head injury he must have hit a window or hit anything could have got hit by a car he could have fell from something had a fight we don't know but he did have some kind of head injury so it took a while for him to get over that because his head was kinked and um, he was flying in circles and all that and they had to wait for him to be able to fly, you know, straight and hunt for himself. So he took about two months and now he's flying free wherever he may be. But there's lots of trees around here in my own backyard in my neighborhood. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the video.